friends, welcome to another video from Price to Car on the OnePlus 3 that was launched just a month back. We had demonstrated the unboxing and showed you a general review and also the in-depth analysis of the battery, but now we'll step into more details and today we'll demonstrate the performance of 4G LTE and the Wi-Fi capabilities of this device. For 4G, we'll be using a Reliance GeoSIM that we had obtained some time back. So I'm opening the SIM tray on the side of the device here and as you can see it neatly pops out and I can see two slots over here. That's obvious because this is a dual SIM device. I'll just place this Reliance Geo SIM in here at the first place and leave the other slot empty. So by now the phone has managed to get a hold of the network and we can see LT written over here. In the drop down we see that the device supports Voltaic calling as well. I've already set up Reliance Geo's access point details so the device are seamlessly connected to the data services. I'll just quickly go through the condition of LT networks in India so you can have a sense that the phone would support all the networks and their different bands as well. Airtel 4G uses 2300 MHz spectrum for broadband wireless access in 15 telecom circles of India out of 22 circles. Though Airtel has also bought 97 MHz spectrum in the 1800 MHz band. On the other hand, Reliance Geo have a large amount of spectrum across band 5, band 3 and band 40, Pan India. With such a huge diversity of bandwidths, it's an amazing network that has been set up by Reliance Geo. The broad range of frequencies would allow fast speeds of data along with good penetration of the network inside cities. Combining with carrier aggregation features that we find in the OnePlus One allows for the highest quality of data rates that are possible in the network. So devices with CAT6 antennas like the OnePlus 3 can connect on two different spectrum bands as once which is seemingly beneficial for the OnePlus 3 on the Reliance Geo network, aggregating both the spectrums to give faster download speeds. Phones like the Huawei Ascent P2, LG Nexus 5 and Apple's iPhone 6 all have CAT4 radios which can only connect to one band at a time and give you a top 4G download speed of 150 Mbps. On the other hand, CAT6 devices can go as much as 300 Mbps. So now let's go back to the home screen and start with the speed test. We already have the app installed and here you go, it's open and I've started the test. As you can see the device is getting an incredible bandwidth from the network, the sort that even most broadband users of our country don't get to experience. We have touched a download speed of 32 Mbps. As you can check my results history, I've conducted the tests for myself a few times previously and mostly the speed hovers around 25 Mbps. The modem in this device seems amazing to manage such a huge bandwidth available to it. I have also set up the torrent app called Flood here and will proceed to download a 1.5 GB Ubuntu image. I will open up the Ubuntu downloads website and add the torrent just to check how it performs. So the download has started and it's slowly gaining momentum. The speed has touched 4.2 Mbps and with that it has finished in 6 minutes. That's enough for you to board a flight and before the flight is taken off you could download two movies for yourself. So that was a quick speed test of the 4G LTE network with Reliance Geo. It's quite incredible to imagine the power of LTE in the hands of every Indian in the next few months when Geo publicly rolls out. We think these kind of speeds would be revolutionary. The apps provided by Geo opens up a whole new world of possibilities of things you can do with this incredible speeds you get. As you can see here in the Play Store, there is the Geo Play, Geo On Demand, Geo Join, Geo Max, and Geo Security apps here. Geo Play is where you can watch your favorite TV shows in real time. Geo On Demand can stream a huge collection of movies directly to your smartphone. GeoJoin is used to call people in cases where the phone doesn't have voltage. 
Using GeoMags, you can download and read your favorite Indian or international magazines for free. I'll just open GeoPlay and browse some of the fa favorite channels. As you can see, the television streaming is lag free and works beautifully. Now you'll be able to watch your favorite TV shows and sports matches without having to worry to get your home faster. Also, in GeoMags, you can browse magazines that are commonly available at Indian newsstands and others as well and download them to read without having to worry about maintaining a subscription to them. With this ecosystem of apps, we are sure Geo will do great. Now in this test, we will make a quick comparison of the Wi-Fi speed in between this laptop and the OnePlus 3. For that, we will simultaneously check the Wi-Fi speeds on the laptop and the smartphone. First, we will open the speed test application on the laptop and then on the phone. We will also make sure the speed test server is the same and we shall simultaneously launch the speed test. Now the test is started and as you can see the download speed here on the laptop is quite comparable to that of the phone. We wanted to check this out since the Wi-Fi chipset on the laptop is expected to be far more powerful than the one on a phone. And although my router is located a little far away, the phone manages to secure almost equivalent speeds as the laptop. I hope you liked our video. Please share, like and do comment if you have any questions. We'll see you in the next review of Price Sugar. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel.